look at the vestibule and the semicircular canals now. So I think we've gotten straight on hearing and everything. You got to remember the vestibule and the semicircular canals still have the same thing. Here they have the bony labyrinth and then the membranous labyrinth on the inside. The bony labyrinth has the paralymph and the membranous has the endolymph. Okay, if you look at the vestibule, there's two organs there. This right here is the uricle and this is the saccule. You can see they go in two different directions. Let me be sure that's right. Okay, I can't see it with my glasses. And this is the uricle, right? And this is the saccule. This is the stapes actually in the oval window going into the cochlea right here. Okay, so here's the uricle. Here's the saccule, and they're perpendicular to each other. They have an um, organ on the inside of the membranous that's for balance and equilibrium. And then the same thing in the semicircular canals. Remember these semicircular canals? You can see they're at right angles to each other. And they have a swelling at the base of that, and that is called the ampulla. Okay, so this is an ampulla right here. And then here is the semicircular canal. Here's another ampulla. Here's another. But this, think of rotational. And remember, it's filled with fluid, so it moves as you move. And that's how it detects balance and position of the head. So let's talk about physiology of equilibrium. Okay, static equilibrium. That's um, maintaining the position due to gravity. Okay, think of that just standing there, knowing the position of your head. This involves the saccule and the uricle that are in the vestibule, again, right here. And inside each is a region called the maculae. And the maculae is shown right here. This is the maculae right there in the uricle and the saccule these right here. Like I said, they're perpendicular to each other, so it can tell the position of your head. And this right here that is a gel-like substance that's called the otolithic membrane. The otolithic membrane has little bitty crystals sitting on it called otoliths. That literally means ear stones. And what they do is they are, you can see over here, they're calcium carbonate crystals. And when they move, it moves the gel and that moves the hair cell and that sends an, an impulse down the neurons that tell you where your head position are, okay? You can see here that whenever the head is upright, there's no movement. If it tilts down, then so does the, um, the, the macula itself. Those otoliths pull down the otolithic membrane. And then you can tell that it because of the pull on the neurons and the hair cells, that makes you know that your head is pointing down. So this provides static um, equilibrium like think of detecting linear acceleration and deceleration of your head. In other words, you know, in a car, when you stop, things like that. Also, think about when you go up in an elevator and down in an elevator. It's the same thing, same linear acceleration and deceleration. Then you have dynamic equilibrium. Okay, think about spinning around in a circle. This is done by the semicircular canals right here. So think about... Um, you know, ballerinas and things like that spinning around. Okay, so it detects rotation and acceleration and deceleration of rotation of the head. If you look at the base of each one of these, remember is the ampulla, and inside the ampulla is a cristae. The cristae itself has a cupula on top, which is very similar to this, only it's very, it's taller. It doesn't have any otoliths, but think of this fluid swirling around in here as you spin, and that spins the cupula, and it goes around and around and around just like that. Remember, this is all endolymph. This is inside the membranous labyrinth, and as it spins around, then it stops. What do you think happens whenever you stop spinning around? Do you think it would automatically stop? 
well, if you said yes, you're wrong because the, the, the waves are still moving around in your indolent so that it actually continues to spin. That's how you get dizzy. You know, if you think about the people spinning around um, a bat, you know how they do that as a fun game? I don't have to do that as a fun game because I'm pretty dizzy anyway. Ha, 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 ha. But anyway, if you go and you bend down, you spin around the bat and spin around and then they tell you to run the bases and then you end up falling all over the place. That's because your ears are still spinning all around and your muscles are trying to run straight because your muscles are telling you that you can run straight, but your head's spinning around, you're getting all mixed messages, and then you end up into the lawn chair or something like that on America's Funniest Videos. But that's the difference between static and dynamic equilibrium. Static is more linear, you know, walking or moving in a car forward or backward, going up in an elevator forward or backward, whereas dynamic which is a semicircular canals, is rotational. Okay, that's the last one on hearing, so we'll start vision next.